हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा डियर डिवोटिस माय सिंसियर ग्रैटिट्यूड टू प्रीति विलासिनी माता जी for giving me this opportunity to speak on this very wonderful platform of the international society for krishna consciousness is con called as bhakti sangha japa group that has been doing this very wonderful service of facilitating the chanting of hare krishna maha mantra in japa daily classes 7 days a week on shrimad bhagavatam shri chaitanya charitamrita and now teachings of lord chaitanya and now shri chaitanya bhagavat also so many kids classes camps special seminars like ramayan brihad bhagavatamrit over the years bhakti sangha japa group has rendered a very great service to the vaishnava community i am very grateful and i am honored to be given a chance to speak on this forum regularly <clears throat> today we will be discussing from shri chaitanya bhagavat adi khanda chapter 12 text 55 to i think uh, 66 so let's get started shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is a young boy and he is manifesting his vidya vilas leela his scholarly pastimes scholastic pastimes <clears throat> shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is being described his his youthful pastimes are being described in great detail by shri vrindavan das thakur in chaitanya bhagavat um these descriptions are not given in detail in shri chaitanya charitamrit out of etiquette by shri krishna das kaviraj goswami shri krishna das kaviraj goswami says that whatever um past times of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu have been left behind as remnants uchishtha charvan i am simply tasting what has been left behind by shri uh, vrindavan das thakur who is the original vyas of gaur leela that is the attitude of shri krishna das kaviraj goswami and indeed shri vrindavan das thakur has so beautifully described the past times of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu it is not surprising because he is incarnation of shri vyas dev so let's go to shri chaitanya bhagavat adi khanda chapter 12 text 55 what is being described is that shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is um a young young man a teenager and he has unprecedented knowledge unprecedented knowledge he can defeat anybody in scholarly debates so he is pandit most love that he is nimai pandit and the people are amazed by his intelligence his practically unlimited learning not surprising isn't it because he is bhagwan he has got six opulences one of the opulences um vidya gnan knowledge so all knowledge comes from krishna he is the chit shakti um <clears throat> so um devotees 
they tell Nimai that you are wasting your time with all these scholarly activities. You should take to Bhakti. Vasudeva Paraveda. Bahunam Janmana Mante Jnana Manvam Prapadyate Vasudeva Sarvamiti. Ultimately, all knowledge should lead to the conclusion that I must surrender to Krishna. So Mahabharu says, Nimai Pandit tells them that yes, yes, it is my plan. Someday I will surrender to a pure devotee. So this is what is going on. Eimatakshane Prabhu Vaise Gangatire Kakhana Brahmena Prati Nagare Nagare Translation of text 55 by our most revered Shri Srimad Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj Prabhupada. The beloved spiritual master of our founder Acharya, Shri Srimad Abhay Charanaravinda Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. Translation. Sometimes Lord Nimai sat on the bank of the Ganga. And sometimes he wandered uh, in the streets of Navadvip. This was the activity of Nimai. He would sometimes be on the bank of Ganga, sometimes just wandering the streets of Navadvip. Prabhu Dekhile Matra Nagari Agan Parama Adarakari. Whenever the residents saw Nimai Pandit, they would welcome him with great respect. Prabhu Dekhilei Matra Nagariyagan. When the residents of Nadia saw Nimai, Parama Adara with great respect, Kari Vandena Charan. They would glorify his lotus feet, they would welcome him. Texts 57, 58, and 59. Nari gana dekhi bole ehi ta madan Stri loke pao ka janme janme he na dhan Pandite dekha ye brihas patira saman Vridha di padapadme karaye pranam Yogi gane dekhe ye na siddha kalevan Dushtagane dekhe jena Mahabhayankar. Krishna is the Vasta Vastu. Krishna is the real, real deal, as they say. Krishna is the real deal. Janma dasya ton vayadi tarpas charthesho vignya swarat. Krishna is Ishwara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadira Dirgovinda Sarvakarana Karanam. Krishna is the Param Ishwar, the Supreme Controller. He is completely cognizant of everything. He has got all knowledge. Abhidnya. And he is fully independent. In this material world, we are dependent. We have to wear seat belt, for example, because we are afraid of accidents. We have to pay our taxes. We have to drive on a certain side of the road. One may be the greatest, richest person, most powerful politician, but still you have to follow certain rules. If one has diabetes, doctor says avoid sweets, you have to avoid. You have to drive on a certain speed limit. So many rules and regulations we all have to follow. Because we are not supreme controllers. But Krishna is Swarat. And he is Param Ishwar. Ishwara Param Krishna. Supreme controller. This supreme controller, supreme personality of Godhead, Sarva Karana Karanam, the cause of all causes. Uh, Anadi, he has no other origin. Adi, he is Govindam Adi Purusham. He is the original person. This Krishna can be understood from different angles of vision. The purer our consciousness, the clearer we can see Krishna as it is. Bhaktya maam abhijanati yavanes chasmi tattvata. 
we can understand krishna tatvata as he is in truth janma karma chame divyam evam yo vetti tatvata one who knows krishna tatvata as it is not perverted incomplete inaccurate understanding of krishna correct proper understanding of krishna can be had to the degree we are pure and to the degree we have love and bhakti devotion prem for krishna to that degree krishna is revealed to us clearer and clearer and clearer otherwise it's all hazy atmavat manyate jagat this world seems to be a reflection of our own consciousness atmavat manyate jagat if someone is envious that person will think that this person is envious if someone has disrespect for others they may think that oh he is disrespecting me because we are seeing this world through the lens of our own consciousness so just see in these verses verses 57 58 and 59 different types of people are perceiving shri chaitanya mahaprabhu differently and there is a parallel to this in shrimad bhagavatam when krishna and balram come to mathura from vrindavan to participate in the um in the the wrestling arena where the wrestling is going to take place with chanor and mushtik and others the residents of mathura have been invited to witness and different people perceive krishna differently same theme is here also nari gana dekhi bole e to madan when the girls of navadvip would see our young nimai they would say oh he is here is cupid himself e to madan he is cupid he is the most handsome most charming young man nimai for the girls nari gan when the lady saw gaura they said here is cupid himself stri loke pauka janme janme hena dhan let women receive such a treasure birth after birth <clears throat> this is how they would say that nimai is the most handsome most charming most attractive man purush eita madan <clears throat> and the highest attainment for a woman is the supreme purush that is krishna pandite dekhaye brihaspati ra saman when the scholar saw nimai they saw him as brihaspati who is the teacher of the devatas the most learned person brihaspati so for the ladies he was most attractive he was kamadev cupid for the scholars he was brihaspati he appeared as brihaspati vriddha adi pada padme karaye pranam and for ordinary men even the elderly men he appeared as the most respectable personality so even the elders they offered pranam or offered their obeisances at the feet of shri nimai he commanded such respect yogi gane dekhe jena siddh kalevar when the yogis who are after mystic perfections siddhis siddhi kamis when they saw the yogis who do tapasya to get powers they saw nimai they saw him as the personification of all mystic perfections the most siddha purush siddha kalevar siddha purush the most perfect person and dushta gane dekhe jena mahabhayankar and when the miscreant saw him when the miscreant saw our dear nimai they saw him as death personified so him as death personified so different people perceived krishna differently we want to perceive krishna as our acharyas perceive him 
देर फोर वी रीड आचार्य वाणी वी रीड नंद नंदन अष्टकम वी रीड राधिका अष्टकम वी रीड श्रीमद भागवतम वी रीड द भक्ति वेदांत परपोर्ट्स शिल प्रभुपाद वाय बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू परसीव कृष्णा वी वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड कृष्णा वी वॉन्ट टू सी कृष्णा एज आवर आचार्य डेड वाय बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू गो वेर आवर आचार्य आर सर्विंग राधा एंड कृष्ण येस दैट्स वेर यू वॉन्ट टू गो isn't it that's why we don't want to go anywhere else we do not wish to go to vaikuntha we do not wish to go to the brahma jyoti we do not wish to go to the heavenly planets because will we find prabhupad there will we, will we find shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur there will we find shila bhakti vinod thakur there rup sanatan goswami is raghunath das goswami there no chakravarti pad north nost thakur no so where do you want to go we don't even want to go to dwarka we don't want to go to mathura because our none of our acharyas are there aradhya bhagwan brajesh tanaya staddham vrindavan that's why you want to go to golok vrindavan na yoga siddhir na mama astu moksho vai kuntha loke api na parshadatvam प्रेमा न सैदी चेतरा ममस्तु वृंदवन एव वास यू वॉन्ट टू गो टू वृंदवन ऑल अवर आचार्य जर सो वी वॉन्ट टू डेवलप अ विजन माय डियर फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वॉन्ट टू डू चेतो दर्पण मार्जन श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तन बाय टेकिंग शेल्ट ऑफ द होली नेम वी वॉन्ट टू प्युरीफाय अवर सेल्व विषय छाड़िया कबे शुद्ध हबे मन कबे आम हेरी बो श्री वृंदावन वी कैनॉट सी वृंदावन एंड विदाउट सी वृंदावन वी कैनॉट सी राधा कृष्ण सो टू सी कृष्ण विषय छाड़िया कबे शुद्ध हबे मन वी हैव टू प्यूरिफाई आवर सेल्स टू बी एबल टू सी कृष्ण एज ही इज एंड टू सी श्री राधा जी एज शी इज देर फोर वी हैव टू प्यूरिफाई आवर हार्ट एंड देन द विजन दैट आवर आचार्य आर गिविंग अस चक्षुदान दिलो जे जन्मे जन्मे प्रभु से अज्ञान तिमिरंध से ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुर वी वॉन्ट द विजन दैट आवर गुरु इज गिविंग गुरु इज गिविंग एंड वी वॉन्ट टू हैव दट सेम मूड एज आवर गुरु इफ द गुरु इज अ व्रज रसिक वैष्णव वी कैन नॉट गो टू अयोध्या इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो टू इटर्नल अयोध्या धाम देन वी नीड टू फाइंड अ गुरु वैष्णव साधु गुरु वैष्णव हू इज अ राम भक्त if you want to go to ayodhya then we need someone who worships rukmini dwarkadish <coughs> so therefore this sambandh gyan should be there it is preliminary abhideya will depend on the sambandh and sambandh and abhideya will lead us to prayojana so this we have to understand therefore we want to see krishna the way shila prabhupad saw krishna we want to see krishna the way shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur saw the way mahaprabhu taught us to see krishna through roop and raghunath goswami roop and sanatan goswami therefore it was the last prayer of shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur that at the very end of his leela he wanted to simply attain the dust of the lotus feet of roop and raghunath goswami nothing else shri roopa manjari pada sei mora sampada sei mora bhajana pujana से मोर प्राणधान से मोर आभरण से मोर जीव नेर जीवन वन में वंड वाय जगदगुरु परम हंस वैष्णव श्री श्रीमद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी प्रभुपाद एट द एंड ऑफ हिज लाइफ इज नॉट wanting to hear something about krishna something about radharani instead he wants to hear about rupa manjari 
Rupa Manjari because all the Manjaris are under Rupa Manjari. Manjaris are maid servants of the Sakis and Sri Radha. So in the realm of Madhurya, we want to simply serve. Simply serve. Gopi Bhartupada Kamalayor Das Dasam Das. So this is our prayer that the lotus feet of Rupa Manjari means Rupa Goswami. Say more of Sampada is my wealth. Say more of Bhajana Pujana. All my Bhajan Pujan, whatever Puja Seva I did, whatever Bhajan I did, Nam Bhajan I did, it is to get the lotus feet of Shri Rupa Manjari. Say more of Pranadhana. The lotus feet of Rupa Manjari are my life and soul, the treasure of my life. Say more of Abharana. My ornaments in life are the lotus feet of Rupa Manjari. She is everything for me. Say more of Jeevan era Jeevan. The life of my life is Sri Rupa Manjari. It is so clear, very simple. We want to see Krishna through the eyes of our Acharyas. That is the Siddhanta. So now let us analyze these three verses uh, through the purport of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. Because I am sure some eyebrows must have been raised after reading these verses. Especially Nari Gana Dekhi Bole Eita Madan. I am sure some of you must be having questions. <laughs> Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada will answer in the purport. Shri Gaura Sundar was so extraordinarily beautiful that ladies were overwhelmed on seeing his matchless form, matchless beauty. Anupama Madhuri, incomparable beauty. Shri Gaura Sundar was so brilliantly learned that the scholars saw him as the intelligent spiritual master Brihaspati. The yogis who survive on air. <laughs> Practicing Ashtanga Yoga and the Munis who raise their semen, Urdhvaret, saw him as a Siddha Mahapurush. There is no question of attaining Siddhi in Bhakti without Brahmacharya. A perfected being, they saw him as a perfected being. And the sinful, ill-natured people saw him as the formidable chastiser Yamaraj, Mahabhayankar. It is natural that the ladies will see Sri Gaurasundar as the most beautiful personality and be attracted to him as, as if he's Cupid. Kamadev. <clears throat> Jayati Jana Nivaso Devaki Janma Vado Yaduvara Parishat Swair Dor Birasmin Adharamam Stirachara Vrijinagana Susmita Shri Mukhena Vrajapura Vanitana Vardhayan Kamadevam. He is Kamadev. Is Kamadev. So it is not surprising. But why we do not agree with the philosophy of the Gauranga Nagaris? Because it is not Mahaprabhu's mood to be an enjoyer. Rather, it is the mood of Mahaprabhu to be the Bhogya Vastu. Even though he is the Bhokta. Bhoktaram Yadna Tapasam Sarvaloka Maheshwaram Suridam Sarabhutanam Natamam Shanti Bhajati. Even though Jai Gaura Sai Krishna Sai Jagannath, even though Gaura being Krishna is Bhokta, he is the enjoyer, but his mood is that of Radha. And the mood of Sri Radha is to be enjoyed by Krishna. Bhogya Vastu. To be enjoyed only by Krishna. The supremely chaste Srimati Radharani. That is the mood of Mahaprabhu. So Mahaprabhu is in the mood of a devotee. There is no doubt about it. Therefore, the Gauranga Nagari philosophy, where they consider themselves as ladies of Navadvip and they consider Gauranga Mahaprabhu as their lover in conjugal ras. This is a great disservice to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
because it spoils his mood and we don't accept it. Srila Prabhupada taught us, do not spoil the mood of Gaura. So we don't accept that philosophy. 60. Divas eko jare prabhu karena sambhash bandi praya hayajena pare prema phas If Shri Gaura spoke with someone just once, eko jare prabhu karena sambhash If Shri Nimai Shri Nimai Vishwambhar spoke with someone just once. Bandi praya hai jena pare prema phas. That person was bound, bandi, bound by the ropes of prem, prema phas. Just by one interaction with Sri Gaura, a person would be bound by ropes of love and affection. This is the all attractive nature of Bhagwan. Purport. Those who spoke to the Lord for even a day, divas echo, just one day they spoke, became bound by his inseparable love. Because he is Prem Purushottam. Gauranga Mahaprabhu is Prem Purushottam. Lord Ramchandra is Maryada Purushottam. Shri Krishna Chandra is Leela Purushottam. And Shri Gaura Chandra is Prem Purushottam. Text 61. Vidyara se jata prabhu kare ahankar. Shunena tathapi priti prabhu re sabar. Although everyone heard about how Shri Nimai was proud of his Panditya scholarship, Nimai Pandit, they still loved him dearly. <laughs> they still love him dearly. Tathapi priti prabhu re sabar. Tathapi still. Priti Prabhura Sabar. Everyone loved him. Everyone loved Nimai. That is the beauty and charm of Bhagwan. Purport. Generally, those who are maddened with pride due to education become envious of other learned persons. We have to be very careful of this, my dear friends. In Bhakti also, a speaker of Harikatha can become envious of another speaker of Harikatha. One who speaks Harikatha may not be envious of someone who plays flute in Kirtan or plays a violin in Kirtan or plays a mridanga in Kirtan, harmony or Kartan may not be envious of such a person. Or a speaker of Harikatha may not be envious of a pujari. But we tend to become envious of others who do the same service because we See them as our competitors. Competitor to my fame. We want fame from devotional service. I should get maximum views. His grace, Radhesham Prabhu, very mercifully gave us his association. Still feeling so much separation from him. And Shri Gopal Pran Prabhu. It was such a breath of fresh air to be around them. Radhesham Prabhu was telling that a Brahmachari confided in him that Prabhu, previously I used to meditate on the lotus feet of Shri Krishna. And now I am meditating on how many likes I get. How many comments, positive comments I get. How many shares I get. How many subscribers I get. That is my meditation now. Therefore devotees like His Grace Radhesham Prabhu are really pujaniya. Worshipable. Prabhuji has no social media presence directly. He has no phone, period. Radhesham Prabhu has no phone, only email, no WhatsApp, no Instagram. What are those other, other apps? There are some more other apps, Envelope or something like that. So nothing. None of those apps where you, which you used to chat 
and make calls. No phone. So innocent. He's so innocent. <clears throat> it may be inappropriate. There's so much I want to say about his bhajan, but it may not be appropriate. Very, very exemplary. Very deep in his practice of Krishna consciousness and a genuine sadhu. Genuine sadhu. Made so many PowerPoint presentations for so many classes. Bhagavad Gita classes, Bhagavatam classes, Chaitanya Charitamrit classes and other Goswami books also. Spends hours making PowerPoint. Radhesham Prabhu was saying to make one PowerPoint for one lecture, it takes him three hours. He actually sits down and makes PowerPoint presentation. And then he uploads it on his website. I mean, the Brahmachar is uploaded on their website and it is easy, freely downloadable for anyone. Anybody can download the PowerPoint presentation made by Radhesham Prabhu and give a lecture. And there is no name, Radhesham Das, Radhesham Das on every slide. Anybody can take it, it's free. Just download it and use it in the service of Srila Prabhupada. Use it in the service of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the society at large. Let everyone benefit. This is pure devotional service. Because there is no abhilasha of man badhai pratishtha. Distinction, recognition. Anya abhilashi dashunya. This is pure devotional service. <clears throat> Never sleeps on the bed, sleeps on the floor. Anyway, I should not speak. <clears throat> but um, why was I talking about Radhisham Prabhu? Yes. And we are how, <clears throat> Yes, how we, we become envious, we become competitive, we want to get ahead. Even in devotee circles. Why? Because we are not pure devotees yet. So we are coming from the material realm. We come into ISKCON, which is a spiritual realm, but we bring all our material tendencies. In material world also, when we have a fight, we fight, we break relationships. We come in devotee circle, we have a fight, disagreement, we break relationships here also. So we bring our material conditionings into spiritual life. And bhakti means to give up those material tendencies. And place oneself firmly on the spiritual platform. That is what we need to do. So, here Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada writes, generally those who are maddened with pride due to education become envious of other learned persons. I want to be the best. Envious persons do not desire to hear glorification of others' knowledge. If we hear another devotee being glorified, or thodi taklif hui, sunke. That means we are envious. If we are not happy. So when we hear someone's glorification, we should add two, three glories to that. That is a sign of uh, a pure heart. Rather than changing the topic or saying, yeah, that may be there, but did you know this devotee did this? And just finding faults with that devotee. Doing dosh, chintan, dosh, kirtan. Fault finding and criticizing. That's a very dangerous disease. It is a sign of an envious heart. And envy has no place in Vaishnava society. But by seeing the Lord's pride of learning, everyone became pleased. In the material realm, Generally, when somebody is very proud and defeats everyone, we get angry at that person, envious of that person. But Mahaprabhu being Bhagavan, his scholastic pride also is transcendental, very sweet. And therefore, seeing Nima's pride of learning, everyone became pleased. This is, this is a, a spiritual paradox. 62. Yavane o Prabhu dekhi kare bad aprit, sarvabhuta kripaluta prabhura charit. 
even if the yavanas felt love for shri nimai for the lord's characteristic is to show mercy to all living entities even the yavanas felt love for nimai yavane o prabhu dekhi kare bada preet even the meat eaters found nimai dear to them dheera dheera jana priya priya and being the followers of genuine followers authentic followers of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu our six goswamis of vrindavan were also dear to the dheeras the devotees and the adheeras the non devotees both alike krishnot kirtana gana nartana paro प्रेमामृताम भोनिधी धीरा अधीर जन प्रिया प्रिय करो निर्मत्सर पूजित दे आर पूजित दे आर वर्षिपेबल बिकॉज दे आर दे आर निर्मत्सर दे आर नॉन एनवि प्रिय करो दे डू द वेलफेयर एक्टिविटी प्लीजिंग एक्टिविटी फॉर एवरी वन एंड दे आर देर फोर धीरा धीर जन प्रिया दे आर डियर टू द Uh, devotees and non devotees are like all attractive even the yavanas felt love for nimai why because nimai pandit's characteristic is to show mercy to all living entities sarva bhuta kripaluta prabhu ra charit it is the nature of krishna to do kripa he krishna karuna sindhu karuna sindhu kripa sindhu It is the nature of Krishna to do give mercy. Purport the natural envious propensity of the Yavanas, who are envious of the Hindus, was not directed towards Lord Nimai. Rather, it transformed into pure affection. Shri Gaura Hari exhibited special magnanimity towards everyone. Krishna's mercy is for everyone. Krishna is equal to all. Samoham sarva bhuteshu name dveshtas tena priya. Krishna is equal to everyone. He is suridam, not for devotees only. Suridam, best friend of sarva bhutana, everyone. Krishna always is looking after our welfare. Text sixty-three. Padaya vai kuntha nath. नवद्वीपुरे मुकुंद संजय भाग्य वंतेर दुयारे लॉर्ड ऑफ वैकुंठ टॉट इज स्टूडेंट्स इन द कोर्ट यार्ड ऑफ द फॉर्चुनेट मुकुंद संजय मुकुंद संजय वॉज अ वेरी ग्रेट डिवोटी ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड महाप्रभु यूज हिज कोर्ट यार्ड दुर्गा मंडप एज हिज विद्यालय हिज स्कूल द लॉर्ड ऑफ वैकुंठ टॉट इज स्टूडेंट्स पढ़ाए Vaikunthanath. He is Vaikunthanath. He is the Lord of Vaikuntha. But in Navadvi Pure, he is taking shelter of the home of Mukunda Sanjay. Therefore, he is Bhagyavant. Mukunda Sanjay is Bhagyavant. Very fortunate. Text sixty-four. Auspicious number. Paksha prati paksha sutra khanda na sthapan. वाखाने अशेष रूपे श्री शची नंदन पक्ष प्रतिपक्ष आर्ग्युमेंट्स काउंटर आर्ग्युमेंट्स एस्टैब्लिशिंग द मीनिंग एंड रिफ्यूटिंग द मीनिंग खंडन स्थापन स्थापना मीन्स टू एस्टैब्लिश खंडन मीन्स टू रिफ्यूटेड वाखाने अशेष रूपे श्री शची नंदन सो आर्ग्युमेंट्स काउंटर आर्ग्युमेंट्स एस्टैब्लिशिंग अ सूत्र refuting a sutra meaning these were all explained in various ways by shri sachinandan gaurahari the darling son of shrimati shachi mata nimai was most expert he could not speak just uh, one sided he was such a scholar he was such a vidyanidhi ocean of knowledge that he could speak from all the different paksha and pratipaksha he would speak from every side this complete knowledge any knowledge that is there it originates from shri nimai pandit nimai vishwambar purport 
Nimai Pandit explained the scriptures by various methods like debating and counter-debating, properly ascertaining an object, removing faulty conclusions and establishing faultless conclusions. He did all this. Text 65. Goshti saha mukunda sanjaya bhagyavan bhasaye anande marma najanaye tan Although they could not understand Shri Nimai Pandit's explanations, the fortunate Mukunda Sanjaya and his family all floated in waves of ecstasy. Goshti Saha means along with the family members. Goshti Saha Mukunda Sanjaya Bhagyavan, again he is called as very fortunate one. Bhasaye Anande, floating in the waves of Ananda, bliss, spiritual ecstasy. Even though Marmana Janayatan, even though he did not understand <laughs> what uh, um, intelligent and high level um, talk. Nimai was speaking, but still he was floating in ecstasy just by being near Nimai, just by being able to serve Nimai, by giving his Durga Mandap for Nimai to have his school. This is the power of Seva. We can experience ecstasy just by serving. Last verse for today, verse 66. Vidya Jaya Kariyatha Kura Jai Ghare Vidya Rase Vaikunthera Nayaka Vihare After completing his teaching at school, the Lord of Vaikuntha, Vaikunthera Nayak, the Lord of Vaikuntha, <coughs> returned home. Jai Ghare Returned home. But how? Still absorbed in his scholastic pastimes. Vidya Rase. Still absorbed in his Vidya Rase, his scholarly pastimes. He would come home after completing his day at the school, teaching students. He would come home. Purport. In order to vanquish the conceit of those who are proud of their knowledge, Sri Vishwambhar, the Lord of Vaikuntha and the Master of Saraswati, drove away all materialism and anxieties by the waves of his scholastic pastimes and captured their hearts. This is what Nimai did. He is the Lord of Saraswati, Durga Devi, Lakshmi Devi. He is the Lord of Bhakti Devi. He is the Supreme Lord. And by doing his Vidya Vilas Leela, his scholarly pastimes, he vanquished the pride of the scholars and he captured their hearts. First, he made them surrender to him by defeating them in arguments. And after they surrendered, he captured their hearts. And once he had their hearts, the hearts of the proud people are very hard. But when Nimai had captured their hearts, then he is going to infuse bhakti rasa into their hearts. <laughs> That is the divine plan. That is the divine Leela of Nimai. And we have to just wait and witness. Wait and witness that Leela being manifested. It will happen. We should not think that Nimai is out to defeat all the scholars just for some fame and name and prestige. No. He has a divine plan. The Scholars are very hard-hearted and uh, to win their hearts, they have to be defeated in a very sweet way and then one can infuse bhakti ras in their hearts. <clears throat> it is mentioned in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrit by Srila Krishna Vaskaviraj Goswami in the Adi Leela. Chaitanya Charitamrit Adi Lila, Chapter 7, Text 53. Aradine Gela Prabhu Sevi Prabhavane Dekhile Na Vasiyache Sanyasi Ragane. When <coughs> Mahaprabhu's devotees, just two, three of them, Tapan Mishra, Chandra Shekhar, and the Maharashtan Brahman, when they requested Mahaprabhu to accept the invitation at the house of the Maharashtan Brahman. Their, in, their agenda was to uh, silence these Mayavadi sannyasis headed by Prakashananda Saraswati because they were blaspheming Mahaprabhu. 
So they wanted Mahaprabhu to defeat them all. So Mahaprabhu accepted the invitation and he went to their house. He went to the house of the Brahman. And there he saw Dekhilena Vasiyache Sanyasi Ragan. He saw all the Sanyasis sitting there. Sabha Namaskari Gela Pada Prakshalane Pada Prakshalana Kari Vasilase Isthane. As soon as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw all the sannyasis, he immediately offered obeisances. Sama Namaskari. He offered obeisances to all of them. Amani Namana Dela. And then what did he do? He went to wash his feet. Pada Prakshalane. After washing his feet, Vasila says Thane. He sat down there only, where everyone uh, had washed their feet. Vasiya Karila Kichu Aishwarya Prakash Mahatejo Mayavapu Koti Surya Bhas. Then what did Nimai do? He sat down and he showed one of his Aishwaryas. Shad Aishwarya, his six opulences. So he just, um, there are many opulences, six are primary. He showed his effulgence. Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavan, Iti, Shabdhyate. Shri Chaitanya Bhagavan showed his um, little bit Brahman effulgence. Brahman hui pratishtaha, he is the source of the Brahman effulgence. He showed that. Mahatejo Mai Vapu Koti Suryavas. He showed his effulgence, which was brilliant like millions of suns. Because these Mayavadis, like Prakashananda Saraswati, they want to merge in the Brahma Jyoti. So they are very fond of Brahma Jyoti. So Mahaprabhu showed them a display of Brahma Jyoti. Prabhave Akarshila Sabha Sanyasi Raman Uthila Sanyasi Sabha Chadiya Asan. As soon as they saw the Sanyasis, Mayavadi Sanyasis saw the Brahma Jyoti manifesting from the Vapu, the transcendental body of Nimai, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sanyasi. They immediately gave up their asana and they came. Uthila, Sanyasi, Sabha, all of them got up. Chadi asana, giving up their seats, they came out of respect to Nimai, to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Prakashananda name sarva sanyasi pradhan, Prabhu ke kahila ki chu kariya samman. The leader of all those Mayavadi sanyasis was one fellow named Prakashananda Saraswati. He was the leader. He came to Mahaprabhu and with great respect, he spoke to him as follows. Iha Aisa, Iha Aisha, Sunaha Shripad, Apavitra Sthane Vaisa, Kiva Avasad. What is your sorrow? What is your problem? Why are you sitting in a Apavitra Sthan? Why are you sitting in an impure place where people wash their feet? Come on. Iha Aisa, Iha Aisa, come, 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 come with us, come here. Listen, O Holiness, Sanyasi Thakur, come, sit with us. Why are you sitting here? Prabhu ko hai ami hai, hina sampradai, toma sabar sabhayava site na juyai. Trinadapi sumichena. So Mahaprabhu first document, uh, first displayed, demonstrated a manina manadena. Manadena, he offered dandot pranam to all the sannyasis, mayavadis. A manina, he did not expect any respectable place to sit. He sat down where everybody washes their feet. A manina manadena. And now trinada pisunichena. Trinada pisunichena. He's saying, Prabhu ka hai ami hai hina sampradaya. Oh, I belong to a lower sampradaya of sannyasis. Therefore, Toma Sabar Sabha Vasitena Yugai. I don't deserve to sit with all of you. You are exalted with humility. Apane Prakashananda Hate Tedhariya Vasaila Sabha Madhe Samakariya. Is the time up? I don't know, Prabhu. It was a mistake. So, <clears throat> Prakashananda Saraswati seeing the humility of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu held Mahaprabhu's hand personally. He said, please, please, don't talk like this. Come, come. 
you sit with us. And with great respect, he invited Mahaprabhu to sit in the assembly of other sannyasis. You are a sannyasi, you should sit with sannyasis. Puchila Tomara Naam Shri Krishna Chaitanya Keshava Bharati Rashishya Tate Tumi Dhanya Shri Prakashananda Saraswati then said, I understand that your name is Shri Krishna Chaitanya. I have heard some people told me that you are a sannyasi, your name is Shri Krishna Chaitanya and you are a disciple of the glorious Shri Keshava Bharati Maharaj. Therefore, you are also glorious. Keshava Bharati Rashishya Tumi. Dhanya. You are glorious. Guru is glorious. Disciple also should be glorious. Sampradayika sannyasi tumi rahe igrame ki karane amasabar nakaro darshane. You belong to our uh, Shripa Shankaracharya sampradaya, Advaita sampradaya. You live in our village. Same sampradaya, same village Varanasi. Sampradayika sannyasi tumi and raha e igrame. You live in the same village, same sampradaya. Ki karane amasabar nakaro darshane. Then why you don't give us your darshan? Why do you avoid seeing us? Why you don't associate with us? Sanyasi haiya kara nartana gayan bhavuka sabha sange laya kar sankirtan What is wrong with you? Shri Krishna's Chaitanya Sanyasi. What is wrong with you? Sanyasi haiya kara. You are sanyasi and you are doing nartana gayan. Sannyasi should be grave and serious. Being a sannyasi, you are dancing and you are singing on streets. Bhavuka sabha sange laya kara sankirtan. Bhavuka sabha sange laya. You are taking all the bhavuk emotional, uh, sentimental people with you on the streets. Kara sankirtan and you are doing sankirtan. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You are a sannyasi. You should know better than that. So, in a way, Prakashananda Saraswati is criticizing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Vedanta, so if you, Mahaprabhu may think, so then what should I do? You are saying, don't do Sankirtan, don't do Nartana Gayan, don't sing about Krishna, don't chant Krishna's name, don't dance in the association of devotees, don't experience bhav. It's bhav bhakti. You are saying, don't experience bhav. What should I do? Vedanta Patana Dhyana Sanyasi Radharma Taha Chadi Karakene Bhavukera Karma Hare Baba, you are Sanyasi. Your dharma is to study Vedanta. Sit, sit, do Achaman, sit down. Take the Vedanta Sutra and study it. Vedanta Patana Dhyan and do meditation on the Brahma, Brahma Jyoti. Vedanta Patana Dhyan Sanyasi Ra Dharma. Two Dharma Sanyasi has to study and to meditate on the Brahma Jyoti. Study Vedanta, not Srimad Bhagavatam. <laughs> Don't read the Rasik Shastras. Nigama Kalpataror Galitam Falam. Shukamukhadam Rita Dravasam Yutam. Pibata Bhagavatam. Rasamalayam Muraho Rasika Bhuvi Bhavuka. Don't become Bhavuk. Don't study the Rasik Shastras like Srimad Bhagavad. Vedanta. You study Vedanta and meditate. Don't sing and dance. Don't go in ecstasy. And you are with fanatics just singing and dancing. Prabhave de Kiyatoma Sakshat Naraya Hinachara Karakene Iteki Kara. Look at the brilliance that is emanating from you. As if you are Sakshat Narayan. Prabhave dekhiye toma Sakshat Narayan. Look at your effulgence. You are a young effulgent sannyasi. You look like Narayan. Effulgent. Then will you explain to us why you are doing Hinachar? Instead of Sadachar, you are doing Hinachar. Degraded behavior. Low class behavior. Crying and dancing and singing and associating with ordinary people who are bhavuk like you. Why are you doing this Hinachar? Hinachara kara kene. Why? Ithe ki karan. Explain to me. Why? Being a sannyasi, being so effulgent, why you are behaving like this? Are you ready, my dear friends, to hear the Amoghwani, the perfect words of our most beloved, our 
इष्ट देव श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग प्रभु का है सुना श्रीपाद इहार कारण गुरु मोरे मूर्ख देखी करी लासन माय डियर फ्रेंड्स ऑन भक्ति संघा Why am I reading these verses from Chaitanya Charitamrita? Because in Chaitanya Bhagwat we saw the Vidya Vilas Lila of Nimai, where he would catch hold of anybody and defeat them thoroughly. Argument, counter argument, sthapan, khandan of Siddhanta, establishing, refuting Siddhantas, back and forth. The most mind-boggling scholar Nimai is saying. गुरु मोरे मूर्ख देखी करी ला शासन ही इज द मोस्ट विद्वान पंडित एंड ही सेंग प्रभु को है शून श्रीपाद इहार कारण यू आर आस्किंग वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर माई दुराचार हिनाचार नॉट दुराचार सॉरी हिनाचार नॉट दुराचार हिनाचार लो क्लास बिहेवियर यू वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर माई हिनाचार प्रभु को है शून श्रीपाद इहार कारण गुरु मोरे मूर्ख देखी करीला शासन गुरु मोरे मूर्ख देखी करीला शासन और निमाय पंडित इज सेंग वन हू क्रस्ट केशव कश्मीर इन टू पल्प इज सेंग गुरु मोरे मूर्ख देखी करीला शासन माय गुरु सॉ मी टू बी अ फूल एंड देर फोर ही करेक्टेड मी ही डिसिप्लिन मी एंड ही सेट टू मी मूर्ख तुम्हें तो मार नहीं क वेदांत अधिकार कृष्ण मंत्र जप सदा ए मंत्र सार यू आर अ फूल माय गुरुदेव सेड यू आर नॉट क्वालिफाइड टू स्टडी वेदांत फिलोसॉफी नहीं क वेदांत अधिकार यू डोंट हैव अधिकार टू स्टडी वेदांत देन व्हाट शुड आई डू गुरुदेव देयर फॉर यू मस्ट ऑलवेज चैंड द होली नेम ऑफ कृष्ण कृष्ण मंत्र जप सदा ए मंत्र सार इट इज द एसेंस ऑफ एवरीथिंग There are so many Vedic mantras, confidential mantras in the Vedas and Upanishads, but the essence of all mantras is Krishna. Aha. Nama vina, nama vinu kali kale nahi anya dharma sarva mantra sar naam e shastra marma. Nama vinu kali kale nahi anya dharma. सर्व मंत्र सार नाम ए शास्त्र मर्म सी मूर्ख तुम्हें तो मार नहीं का वेदांत अधिकार कृष्ण नाम जप सदा ए मंत्र सार सर्व मंत्र सार नाम ए शास्त्र मर्म जस्ट चैंट हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण मंत्र हईते हवे संसार मोचान दिस फेवरेट वर्स प्लीज Listen to this verse. Very beautiful. This Chaitanya Charita Amrit Adi Lila Chapter Seven Text Seventy Three. Krishna Mantra Hai Te Ha Be Samsara Mochana Krishna Nama Hai Te Pa Be Krishna Racharana Krishna Mantra Hai Te Ha Be Samsara Mochana. कृष्ण नाम हईते पावे कृष्ण राचारण बोलो कृष्ण मंत्र हईते हावे संसार मोचाना कृष्ण नाम हईते पावे कृष्ण राचारण कृष्ण मंत्र हईते हावे संसार मोचाना कृष्ण नाम हईते पावे कृष्ण राचारण चैंट इज हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र टू थिंग्स विल हैपन कृष्ण मंत्र हईते हवे संसार मोचन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल बी एबल टू गेट फ्रीडम फ्रॉम दिस मटेरियल एक्सिस्टेंस संसार मोचन एंड कृष्ण नाम हईते पावे श्री कृष्ण चरण यू विल गेट द लोटस फीट ऑफ राधा एंड कृष्ण This is the effect of chanting Hare Krishna. How wonderful it is! 
नामविनु कली काले नाही आर धर्म सर्व मंत्र सार नाम ए शास्त्र मर्म वी जस्ट डिस्कस इन दिस वर्स टेक्स्ट सेवेंटी फोर महाप्रभु इज सेइंग दैट श्रीपाद ईश्वर पुरी इंस्ट्रक्टेड महाप्रभु लाइक दैट नाम विनु कली काले नाही आर धर्म सर्व मंत्र सार नाम ए शास्त्र मर्म In this age of Kali, there is no religious principle other than chanting the holy name, which is the essence of all Vedic hymns. This is the purport of all scriptures. Sarva mantra sar, a shastra marma. Shastra ka marma yahi hai ki Krishna naam lo. Harer naam, harer naam, harer naam eva kevalam. Kalo nasti eva, nasti eva, nasti eva gati ranyatha. There should be no doubt in our mind. Here is the Sundari Mataji is there. Let me share my screen, Mataji. Yes, Mataji, I'm here. Aaji Lila seven point seventy five. Let's go to the previous source. See this, Rupaji, our Acharya, founder Acharya is saying, "Aru ya krche na param padam tata ha, patanti adho anadra dyashmalam raja." Shrimad Bhagavatam 10.2.32. Although by severe austerities they rise to the exalted position of Brahma Dnyan, they nevertheless fall down due to imperfect knowledge of the absolute truth. Imperfect knowledge. Their knowledge is incomplete and imperfect. Because complete knowledge is Bhagavan realization. Although they profess to understand the Vedic mantra, Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma. From the Chandogya Upanishad 3.14.1, which means everything is Brahman, they are unable to understand that the holy name is also Brahman, Shabda Brahman. If they regularly chant the Mahamantra, however, they can be relieved from this misconception. Unless one properly takes shelter of the holy name, he cannot be relieved from the offensive state of chanting the holy name. Complete, we have to take Nama Ashray. Complete Nama Ashray. <clears throat> A name that represents an object of this material world may be subjected to arguments, experimental knowledge, but in the absolute world, a name and its owner, the named, the fame and the famous are identical. Abhinnatva nama naam, you know, because naam is chintamani, chaitanya, rasa vigraha, purna shuddha, nitya mukto, abhinnatva nama naam, you know. And similarly, the qualities, pastimes and everything else pertaining to the absolute are also absolute. Although Mayavadis profess monism, Advaitavad, monism. They differentiate between the holy name and the supreme Lord and the Lord himself. For this offense, Anadrat Yashmadangraya, for this offense at the lotus feet of uh, Krishna or Nam Prabhu, for this offense of Namaprad, they gradually glide down from their exalted position of Brahmadhyan as confirmed in Shivan Bhagavatam. So very nice. <clears throat> Etabali eka shloka shikhai lamore, kanthe kari e shloka kari ha vichare. Saying this, my Gurudev, Shripad Ishwar Puripad, he taught me the Hare Krishna Mahamantra and advised me to always chant it. Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Iva Kevalam, Kalaunaste, Vanaste, Vanaste, Vagatiranyata, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Srila Radha Govindas Goswami Maharaj in his Harikatha says that Harer Nam, it's enough to say that, but Harer Nam, second time, Harer Nam, three times it is said, says when something has to be established beyond any speck of doubt, it is to be said three times. Do this, do this, just do this, means emphasis, just do this. <laughs> then Eva, Eva means this only, certainly do this only. So Srila Radha Govind Maharaj says, Harer Nam, Harer Nam, Harer Nam. Three times it comes, look at my cursor. And then Eva comes. Eva, certainly do this only. Now this is as emphatic as it gets. Do this, do this, do this. Certainly do this. Eva. Enough, na? Not enough. Kevalam. So if there is some doubt that there might be something else, 
something else might be kevalam there is nothing only harer naam harer naam harer naam eva and kevalam in this age of kali everybody agrees that we are in kali kala na asti eva na asti eva there is nothing else okay nothing else only holy naam is the only way for siddhi okay but maybe there is other paths also described in bhagavad gita come on na asti eva second time it's not there okay 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 it's not there but maybe something na asti eva again And Shri Radha Govind Maharaj says this three na astiyeva, na astiyeva, na astiyeva are for karma kind, jnana kind, and yoga kind, ashtanga yoga. These three things. So no sense gratification through karma kind, no mukti through jnana kind, and no yogic siddhi through dhyana kind or yoga practice of ashtanga yoga. No, no, no to all those three. Three times na astiyeva, na astiyeva, na astiyeva. Gatir anyatha. There is no other way for perfection in kali yoga. Only hari nam, only hari nam. And then, e agya paya nam lay anukshan nama lay te lay te mora brantahai laman. Look at Mahaprabhu. Since I received this order from a spiritual master with full faith, that nimai pandit. Was the greatest pandit. He is showing by his as an acharya. He is showing by the example. Now he is only chanting. I always chant the holy name, but I thought that by chanting and chanting the holy name, I had become bewildered. I was becoming mad. Branto hilaman, japite japite. But he is constantly chanting. Dhairya dhari te nari, hilam unmatta, hasi kandi nachi gai, jaiche madamatta. while chanting the holy name of krishna in pure ecstasy i lose myself and thus i laugh cry dance and sing just like a madman because prakashananda saraswati had accused him of being bhavuk sanyasi yes what to do it is the ecstasy of the holy name that i laugh cry dance sing tabe dhairya dhari mane karilu vichar krishna nama jnana channa haila amar collecting myself gathering myself together i went i began to consider that chanting the holy name of krishna had covered all my spiritual knowledge i had so much gyan pagala haila ami dhairya nahi mane eta chinti nivedilu guru ra charane i saw that i had become mad by chanting krishna nama i immediately went to the lotus feet of a spiritual master and i inquired kiba mantra dila gosai kiba tar bal japite japite mantra karila pagal <laughs> किबा मंत्र दिलाई ईश्वर पुरी पाद किबा तार बल जपीते जपीते मंत्र करी लगल माई डियर लॉर्ड वॉट काइंड ऑफ मंत्र हैव यू गिवन मी आई हैव बिकम मैड सिंपली बाय चैंटिंग दिस महामंत्र हासाय नाचाय मोरे काराय क्रंदन ए तशुनी गुरु हासी बलिला वचन चैंटिंग दिस कृष्ण नाम इज गिविंग मी एक्सट मेक्स मी डांस लाफ क्राय when my spiritual master heard all this he smiled and began to speak last verse for today krishna nama maha mantre ra eta swabhav je japa tar krishna upajaye bhav krishna nama maha mantre ra eta swabhav it is the nature of the hare krishna maha mantra see here the maha mantra is mentioned कृष्ण नाम महामंत्र स्वभाव इन इवन चैतन्य चरित्रामृत और हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र इज रेफर टू क्लियरली कृष्ण नाम महामंत्र इज हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र कृष्ण नाम महामंत्र स्वभाव दिस द नेचर ऑफ हरे कृष्ण महा Krishna Nama Maham. Are you able to hear me? Yes, now we can. Yeah, it was my wife's AirPods as usual. <laughs> okay, so I will stop here. So here is Nimai Pandit who is doing Vidya Vilas Lila as Pandit. 
निमाय नाव एज श्री गौरांग महाप्रभु श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज सिंपली चैंटिंग सिंपली चैंटिंग द पर्पज ऑफ ऑल स्टडी द पर्पज ऑफ स्वाध्याय द पर्पज ऑफ स्टडिंग द स्क्रिप्चर्स इज टू ब्रिंग अस टू द पॉइंट ऑफ टेकिंग शेल्टर ऑफ कृष्ण नाम डूइंग मोर एंड मोर नाम भजन एंड गोइंग इन टू एक्सटसी going into ecstasy because from the name comes the roop leela gun everything is there in the holy name hari naam chintamani so let us chant more and more let us chant maximum we read shila prabhupad's books to get convinced about the importance of taking shelter of the holy name of krishna nothing else is going to work Holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Kaler doshani de rajan, astiyo eka mahan guna, kirtanad eva Krishna se, mukta sanga param brajet. So this is the uh, transformation of Nimai Pandit. into bhavuk nimai nimai becomes nimai pandit nimai pandit becomes bhavuk nimai <clears throat> i just wanted to read those verses from chaitanya charitamrita to bring out that point gaur premanandi hari hari bol thank you very much hare krishna shri chaitanya bhagavat ki jai shila vrindavan das thakur mahashay ki jai shila bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur prabhu pad ki jai श्री लाभ चरण अरविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज प्रभु बात की जाए हरे कृष्णा इधर एनी क्वेश्चन वी कैन टेक आयन साहा प्लीज गो हेड हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी धन्यवाद प्रणाम आई हैव माय ऑब्लेशन टू ऑल द असेंबल डिवोटेड ऑल ग्लोरी टू श्री लाभ प्रभु जय प्रभु प्रभु जी यस आई हैव बीन चैंटिंग बट फॉर फ्यू डेज माय चैंटिंग इज नॉट ओके इट्स नॉट गुड सो प्रभु जी आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन दैट how can i mm, increase the quality of my chanting mm, that's my question prabhu <clears throat> there are some practical things that we can do to improve the quality of our japa first is to be convinced about the importance of japa unless we have mahatva buddhi towards japa unless we know the importance of japa we will not take it seriously so first through sadhu sangha we have to be convinced about the importance of naam bhajan number 1 number 2 like any other activity naam bhajan happens best when we are fresh in mind we are well rested and we are focused so chanting must be done in the morning only whether we are grihastha whether we are brahmachari whether we are vanaprastha or sanyasi the chanting of at least 16 good quality rounds must must be done in brahma muhurt every day and we have to plan our entire life around that how i can be free from 4 am to 6 am every morning so we should try to chant during brahma muhurt and if we chant our 16 rounds with good quality every single morning during brahma muhurt then our taste in krishna consciousness and our spiritual advancement is guaranteed guaranteed so take rest at night usually 5 6 hours is enough and you chant in the morning between 4 and 6 am and then you can read shrimad bhagavatam chaitanya charitamrit recite some prayers as part of your vandanam we call shravana kirtana vishnu smaranam pada sevanam archanam vandanam vandanam is also important so you can chat guru ashtakam shiksha ashtakam prayers meditate on their meanings shiksha ashtakam is emphasizing the importance of taking shelter of krishna through the chanting of the holy name how to chant the holy name what is the effect of chanting holy name everything is there in shiksha ashtakam and then the eighth verse is the prayojan so like that we should recite these prayers and um, we should sit on a asan and chant we should not walk and chant we should not stand and chant phones should be away from us no telephones no books nothing no reading nothing just sit and you can keep a photograph of guru parampara 
Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Radha Krishna, and chant. You can keep Hare Krishna Mahamantra in front of you. That helps. For me, it helps. Every now and then I look at the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. And you can chant in a prayerful mood with good pronunciation. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. But with a prayerful heart. There should be a prayer in the heart. Srila Prabhupada told us the perfect prayer. Hare Krishna Mahamantra means my dear Radha and Krishna. Please engage me in your eternal loving devotional service. Jivara Swarupa, Krishna Ranitya Das. So with a prayerful heart, Krishna, please purify me. Krishna, please engage me in your service under the guidance of my Gurudev, in the associations of your sincere devotee. Please, Krishna, engage me in your service. Don't reject me, Radharani. Please, please, please keep me engaged in your service. I have been away from you for so many lifetimes. Please now, don't reject me. Please accept me. Accept me, please. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. What can I do for you? How may I serve you? Like that we should chant for two hours, four to six. And if we do this, it takes effort. It takes determination. But this is the most important thing in our life. To chant our minimum 16 rounds with good quality. So you can we can begin here. Is that okay? Yes, Prabhu. And Prabhu, it was great really. And then you find, huh? I don't know anything. About... Yes, what? it was great Prabhu. Uh, it was great Prabhu. It was really helpful. Oh, and okay. I have two small, really small questions. That during morning, I chant uh, with Srila Prabhupada that from mobile two hours. Is that okay, Prabhu? Yes, it's okay to have the Acharya chanting. That is also good. Yes, and uh, another way is to chant in a silent place. And uh, you can um, uh, imagine that I'm sitting in the presence of Srila Prabhupada and I'm chanting. That is another way of doing it. One is to have Prabhupada Japa also going along with you and you can just chant along with Prabhupada. Another bhav is that I am sitting in front of Srila Prabhupada and the Parampara and for their pleasure I am chanting. They wanted us to chant and here I am. Brahma Murta, I am chanting for their pleasure in their presence. Every mantra I chant, they are hearing. They are hearing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Whatever works. There are different ways of doing things. Whatever works for you. Okay. Yes, Prabhu. And one small question, Prabhu. Yes. Yes, Prabhu. So, Prabhu, uh, can we take medicines like um, paracetamol in our, when we are sick? Medicines like paracetamol? Yes, Prabhu. Yes, yes, you can take. Once Prabhupada was asked, Prabhupada is uh, um, Ayurveda better or allopathy better. Prabhupada said, just do the needful. So devotee said, what does that mean, Prabhupada? Prabhupada said, whatever helps you uh, get your body in proper shape so that you can do your bhajan. You can practice Krishna consciousness. Just do that. If Ayurveda helps you, do Ayurveda. If allopathy helps you, do allopathy. Just do the needful. The important thing is this body is a machine. Yantra Rudhani Mayaya. There's a machine given to us. Just use it in Krishna's service. And whatever helps it uh, heal and recover, just do it. That is the most important. Utility is the principle. Okay, Beta? Yes, Prabhu. Thank you very much. How Prabhu. old are you? I'm in class 9, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. I pray at the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada, Shri Shri Nitai Shachinandan and Shri Shri Radha Sham Sundar to bless you profusely, profusely. So that you may be protected in your Krishna consciousness and your Krishna Bhakti keeps increasing more and more every day. Thank you for being so sincere. Hare Thank Krishna. You, I'm not sincere. I'm just trying to. So, so listen, see, I did not know you're, you're only in ninth grade. So listen, where are you? You're in America or India? I'm in India, West Bengal. Prabhu. West Bengal. Okay. So you see, you look at your schedule. I was talking about adults like us who are settled in a professional life and we have, you know, a pre pretty much a fixed schedule. Uh, but as a student, you have to see how much you can chant. You, you may not be able to do it 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. every day or more. So don't worry. You see how much you can do, whether it is four rounds. Srila Bhakti Manu Thakur says that you go in Granthi. Each Granthi is four rounds. So you can do four rounds or eight rounds like that. You decide a minimum Sankhya and uh, you sit down and you do them nicely. Whatever you do rounds, minimum, you do them with good quality. Fix a quantity and then do it with as good quality as possible. Even if it is two rounds, you chant them with the best quality you can. Sit down and with concentration, you chant with all your heart. And maintain that quantity. Don't decrease. Slowly, slowly, as you feel inspired, as you are able to, 
to increase the quantity okay yes prabhu thank you very much prabhu i've been having that medicines questions for a long time take take medicines no problem even if it is ekadashi you take medicine no problem whatever helps you feel good and uh, take care of your health and use your body in doing bhajan uh, shila prabhu pad's morning walk in uh, 1975 chicago it's on veda base you can see um prabhupad was asked that can we take medicines on ekadashi and prabhupad said my god brother shila bhakti daita madhav maharaj great preacher he had to go on preaching but his health was not good and he was feeling low energy because ekadashi he used to do nirjal shila bhakti siddhanta saraj thakur prabhupad gave orders that tell the cook to immediately cook for shila madhav maharaj so that he can take nice prasadam feel energized and go and preach our service is most important on ekadashi shila saraswati thakur said let him eat whatever he wants to feel energized so like that that is a principle so you eat nicely take medicines and do your bhajan as much as you can okay okay prabhu thank you very much please accept me dandavat prabhu dandavat prabhu krishna thank you prabhu are you ha ayush majumdar yes hari krishna prabhu ji dandavat prabhu we have our gaudiya philosophy like those who haven't developed their relationship with gornita have spoiled their lives but those from other sampradays who may not know about gornita but they are pure devotees of their ishta dev can they get liberated of course gornita only are coming in the form of the acharya of other sampradays you think nityananda prabhu is different from shri pad ramanuj acharya not at all Shri Pada Ramanu Acharya is Ram Anuja, younger brother of Ram. He is Lakshman. Lakshman is Nityananda Prabhu. So of course they can get Shri Pad Vishnu Swami Maharaj, Shri Pad Nimbar Ka Acharya. These are all Acharyas. They are all either sent by Krishna or they may be uh, expansions of Krishna. So all the sampradayas they are bona fide. The four sampradayas. Shri Sampradaya, Kumar Sampradaya, Rudra Sampradaya, and Brahma Sampradaya. They are bona fide. Their branches are bona fide, and uh, their genuine followers, sincere followers, are definitely going back to Godhead. All of them, definitely, definitely. So yes, we should never think that only our Gaudiya Sampradaya devotees are going back to Godhead. No, why like that? Krishna comes in different forms to attract. devotees of different flavors different rasas in our gaudiya sampradaya there is a unique flavor of uh, uh, upasana even in gaudiya sampradaya there are different flavors all the four flavors are there dasya sakya vatsalya madhurya hmm? but specifically mahaprabhu's highest gift is the manjari upasana manjari bhav but others uh, sampradayas also they are on their way back to godhead definitely in their own way okay akash prabhu yes prabhu ji it has helped thank you hare krishna pv sudhakar ji hare krishna hare krishna prabhu dhanya prabhu thank you for this wonderful session actually you answered of my query my original query in your previous answer sir But I have one doubt which I thought to ask. Of course, I am not able to chant the sixteen rounds, uh, but I chant a few. I don't count actually when I chant this one. But in between, sometimes you know, I go to the other words like you know, in between uh, like Govinda bolo, Gopala bolo, so comes into my chanting. I don't know whether uh, uh, what it is right or wrong or. what i mean to say yeah, i have been confused but i just take it again and believe that okay what uh, it is also name of the god is it the right uh, thinking or... absolutely absolutely nam nam kari bahuda nija sarva shaktis krishna has many names and all of them are all powerful we also chant hari hara ya nam krishna yadavaya nam yadavaya madhavaya keshavaya nam गोपाल गोविंद राम श्री मधुसूदन गिरिधारी गोपीनाथ मदन मोहन ऑल दिस नेम्स आर ब्यूटीफुल यू कैन चैंट 
any name no problem because when i was chanting this maha mantra i was start chanting i don't know sometimes it comes by automatic to this one so i was thinking whether uh, is it the right thing or uh, is the correct thing is a complete thing you know whether chanting the maha mantra in between uh, other names are coming thank you yes, very much please no problem so there are two things there is naam and there is japa naam you can take any naam you can just walk around chanting krishna 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 radha 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 hari 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 you can chant any name khaite shuite yathartha naam lay desh kal niyam nai sarva siddhi hai shri chaitanya charitamrit teaches us mahaprabhu has said this eating sleeping walking sitting yathartha whatever you are doing naam lay just take name krishna krishna govind hare murare just keep chanting the names of krishna somehow or the other desh kal niyam nahi there are no hard and fast rules of place and time yes, sarva siddhi hai and it will give you all perfection but that is naam naam you can do anyway no problem you can do radha gopinath radha gopinath radha vallabh radha vallabh radha sham sundar radha radha raman radha raman any name you can chant no problem but then there is something called as japa mantra japa now mantra japa is different there you should not do like this mantra japa means you take your mala and a guru pradatta mantra a mantra that you have received from guru shila prabhupada is jagat guru so everybody has the adhikar to chant hare krishna maha mantra if they have adar buddhi they have respect for shila prabhupada so just chant wear tulsi mala around your neck then we become bhogya vastu just like when you have to offer naividyam to krishna yeah. how do you offer you put a tulsi leaf right yes. so similarly if you want to offer ourselves to krishna we have to put tulsi on our body this is tulsi kashtha mala this is a mala made of tulsi so this you should wear around your kantha give up non vegetarian and onion garlic if you eat give that up and just chant hare krishna maha mantra on a tulsi mala or a neem mala and okay. you fixed uh, number of rounds four rounds eight rounds whatever you sit on a asan every morning after taking a shower and you chant half an hour 45 minutes whatever you can with full concentration loudly while hearing the maha mantra in a prayerful mood when you are doing that don't chant anything else because it's mantra jap hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and you chant shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri advaita gadadhar shrivas adi gaur bhakta vrinda before you start your japa you chant prabhu pad pranam mantra nama om vishnu padaya krishna prishthaya bhutale shrimate bhakti vedanta swami iti namine you chant prabhu pad pranam mantra the panch tatva mantra and then you start chanting hare krishna maha mantra four or eight or 12 or 16 rounds like that or more when you are doing mantra japa on a asan sitting with a japa mala don't chant other mantra not required everything is there in the hare krishna maha mantra okay but while you are walking you are showering you are wearing clothes you are driving you are doing other activities you can chant any name not can we must chant the holy name that is naam naam hamesha chalna chahiye nirantar naam lo theek hai but when we are doing naam mantra jap then we should chant hare krishna maha mantra there is a certain sanctity and power in the mantra okay is that clear uh, slightly little bit confused on that one uh, when i st- oh, sorry uh, for me eh? when uh, i start sitting i don't know whether it is a mantra japa or kirtan i try to sing in that bhav starting with that man and suddenly you know this other thing come so this is where i thought to uh, i really don't know much about in depth science of the clearly the different meaning of the japa and the or the kirtan or what you call this one that okay is, uh, no problem do you where do you live i am living in saudi arabia now actually saudi arabia yeah okay so what you can do is you can join this if it is the time is suitable you can join the bhakti sangha japa group because they have japa sessions and yeah you can chant with them then you will know Uh, how it is done so there are different things there is uh, sankirtan there is japa and there is naam naam is that you chant while doing other activities constantly kirtane sada hari and then there is naam sankirtan which you do in the temples when you come together with devotees or at home congregationally and when you are sitting with a japa mala that is called japa okay so the three types of naam uh, chanting you do japa on your mala 
you can take kartal mridang and you can with the association of devotees you can chant sing loudly singing yeah singing okay ha that is kirtan and so japa kirtan and there is naam naam means just whatever you are doing you are krishna 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 hari bol hari bol hari bol nitai gaur hari bol like that you can keep chanting different names there are no rules and regulations for that so three types okay. of one more small question i had of course i did not remember when you told one has to wear this khanti mala i brought the khanti mala but when uh, that uh, person has cautioned me if you are planning to wear khanti mala you should not eat uh, non veg and uh, onion and garlic okay yes you should not eat but uh, yeah i understand i stopped eating it but uh, i have my sometimes i i eat outside because i usually cook my food sometimes i take you know it does not time permit so i eat out i don't know in outside i can't control right so in so i was thinking whether in that situation should i still wear the khanti mala or leave it i did not wear so far but i had this doubt i thought to take opportunity to climb that our puranic literature says that even if for a half a moment kshanardha half a moment we remove the khanti mala we become like dog eaters shopacha oh. so we should not remove the khanti mala even for half a moment so you wear it and when you go outside you eat fruits or uh, you eat something that is um, not forbidden and if you pray to krishna krishna will guide you krishna will help you he will make some arrangement for you in some bread or some rice some fruit something you will get or you carry something with you uh, but uh, don't remove the kanthi mala because you have to eat meat don't eat meat don't eat onion garlic now you have got got connection with the parampara you have got connection with shri chaitanya mahaprabhu don't lose it for some uh, meat and onion garlic we have eaten meat onion garlic for so many years so many lifetimes now yes. you have got a golden chance if you simply wear kanthi mala tulsi kanthi mala and you chant hare krishna sincerely taking shelter of mahaprabhu shri chaitanya dev and nityananda prabhu and shila prabhupad you will get krishna in this lifetime such a golden opportunity is there now don't spoil this opportunity because of non veg instead you starve instead you starve but uh, don't don't uh, remove kanthi mala because you want to eat uh, non veg there are so many devotees who live in countries even in america there is hardly any vegetarianism every no, restaurant uh, non veg i stopped eating non veg and uh, cooking garlic and onion mm. i brought it but uh, i was uh, having this dot to wear or not because the, the gentleman uh, when i purchased he told me that you should not eat uh, yeah what he what he told you is correct if you wear tulsi kanthi mala you should never eat uh, non veg never so um, you wear tulsi mala and don't eat non veg instead of not wearing tulsi mala uh, with the fear that i may unknowingly end up eating non veg instead of doing that you wear tulsi mala and be careful not to eat non veg because okay. you are getting such a nice opportunity to make yeah. spiritual progress thank you very so, much yes. yeah hare krishna hare krishna thank you for your sincerity last question anasuya gajendra i think i accidentally unmuted prabhu ji i don't know it was unmuted from no long. problem no problem so if there are no let me look at the chat box very quickly one question is there hare krishna can kids also chant on tulsi beads is there any specific rule and regulation on chanting tulsi beads <clears throat> yes kids can also chant on tulsi if we chant on tulsi beads there is more uh, benefit from the chanting so children they are pure they are not eating any meat they are not eating anything garlic they are devotees um, so they should chant on tulsi yes only thing is we have to guide them how to chant they should be clean they should uh, chant after taking a bath sit on a asana and chant and then they can also chant on tulsi beads but if they are going to eat with Uh, contaminated hands uh, they want to chant with contaminated hands some th- touch the tulsi uh, that is a offense so parents should uh, supervise but yes kids should also chant on tulsi but one doesn't have to be initiated to chant on tulsi mala 
everybody should chant on tulsi mala okay all right so neer prabhu last question prabhu ji uh, hare krishna uh, prabhu ji i had one doubt can't we chant on tulsi beads without taking bath or it is compulsory to take bath before, before chanting it is not compulsory it is ideal to take uh, bath and then chant on tulsi mala but you can chant even without bath no problem you just wash your uh, mouth brush your teeth yes uh, wash your hands and um, you sit in a clean place make sure your bead bag is washed and clean and you just chant no problem you can do achaman if possible and then chant yep. okay more is important is to chant thank you prabhu ji then uh... thank you we will stop now shila prabhu pad ki जय वाचा कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो 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 नमः नमः थैंक यू वेरी मच